I'm Bruce Stedman, and I'm doing an after the cardboard unboxing of an iOptron AZ Mount Pro with Light Rock Tripod 1.75. It arrived in the boxes as shown. The smaller box held the mount, which included this very nice and attractive aluminum case. The larger box held the tripod. The system came with a quick start guide, which allows you to set up and go for an observation. I also downloaded a 46 page manual from the iOptron site that covers other items in much more detail. I've researched this product for some time and it appears to be what I want. I've done hundreds of planetarium dome sky shows in two planetariums helped with lots of telescope evening sky shows with the planetarium staff who were great with manual telescopes, except, well, me. I could point out just about everything in the sky, but finding that object in an eyepiece was, well, a challenge. But it did bring a smile to the staff. I believe the iOptron AZ Pro with a GPS will get me where I want to be with a great visual experience. I have a telescope on order and hope to show the mount with the telescope, but a back auto looks like it may be well into the future for delivery. If it is, I'll use two of my smaller scopes for the demonstration in a future video. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unpack this case and we'll take all of the items out and do sort of a show and tell to see how they fit together. First is the iOptron Mount Pro. It weighs about 13 pounds and very solid. On this side is a dual saddle for both Lozmandy and Vixen dovetails that the manual states will hold up to a 33 pound telescope. And sitting on the top are the levers that lock down the dovetails. On the opposite side of the mount, you have sitting over here, a altitude lock, which can be released when balancing your telescope on the mount. Sitting on the outside of this is a counterweight shaft lock, which when open, allows you to push out a shaft. My recommendation is that it sits out somewhat, even though you may have it locked in, because if you put a telescope on, you're not gonna be able to get the shaft out all the way. So I'm gonna grab it here and pull. It comes out about six inches, all right? And it allows you to put a counterweight on it when balancing your system. Now, since I bought the mount and the tripod as a kit, it came with a 10 pound counterweight. Now, this is the counterweight, and one of the things you need to know is that by putting this on and sliding it down, if you let go, if you're experimenting and you let go, it will tip the whole mount right over, crashing onto whatever surface there is. So my recommendation is that you do not do that until you have it on the tripod. And as a matter of fact, there are a lot of lighter telescopes that don't even need to have a counterweight to be balanced on the system. Well, also what I've done is I purchased a saddle that happens to fit on this. And it will go on like this. And what I've done is I've attached a small dovetail to it just to show you. Now this saddle, which actually locks into the shaft, will hold up to a 10 pound telescope, which is kind of neat because you could have different kinds of telescopes on either side. The GPS receiver sits on the top of the mount and must not be covered when the mount is in operational mode. On the back side of the mount is located a bubble level, which is used when, of course, leveling the mount with a tripod. And of course, having a level system is key to having a successful observation. Also within the case is a charging device for the port on the face of the mount. And the manual states that 
a full charge gives the mount about 10 hours of operation, which is really good. And also included is an RS-232 cable with port on the face of the mount to connect to a computer and a cable that attaches to the face port and to the hand controller, the 8407 GoTo Nova hand controller, which is very good. Now, one of the interesting things about receiving this hand controller is on the back side of it, which is hard to see, is a note. And the note reads, 2032 battery not installed. Well, what I did is I took the six screws out of the back side of it, and yes, there's no battery installed. Matter of fact, there was no battery anywhere in the system. So what I had, fortunately, was 2032 batteries here in the house. And I was able to put it in, and here, the air controller is ready to go. Well, what I'm going to do next is to set up the tripod with the mount, and we'll see how it goes. The light rod tripod can handle the mount. It comes with 1.75 inch diameter stainless steel legs, a die cast aluminum top, and a metal accessory tray. The tripod has a 30 inch minimum height and a maximum height of 47 inches. The tripod weighs around 15 pounds. The joining process is straightforward. Now what it comes with are three level adjustment screws. And I've already started them in just slightly and you can see them here. I'm gonna tighten them all down and then bring them back about one quarter of an inch to assist with the final leveling. Well, I have screwed in the three level adjustment screws and have backed them off about one quarter of one inch and I'm gonna place the mount now on the top. You need to be careful with this. And what I've learned is if I can get one of the pins locked in, then I can just watch it, rotate it, and it will fall into place. Well, the second thing that now needs to be done is the tripod knob and the bolt need to be attached to the system to hold it in firmly. So I'm gonna bring this up and it fits in pretty well and I'm gonna start turning it until it is completely locked in place. And it takes quite a few turns. The accessory tray is, is straightforward and I've actually started by putting it on and I'm gonna simply slide it up, matching it up with the legs and then tightening knob at the bottom. You'll notice there are lots of turns to do this with too. So now the system is quite secure and locked. Now comes the fun part of leveling the system and turning it on. I will admit that actually while setting up the tripod I usually use the help of a T-level and Actually, that can be put on the top, at least temporarily, to check and see what's going on. And now the three screws down below, these are adjustments. And what I have to do is I have to look at the bubble level that's in the back. And I have to play with this, move them up and down, until the bubble is pretty much in the middle of the level. And then it's pretty much ready to go. Once I have got it leveled, I'm going to take this off, because I don't want that to interfere with the GPS receiver that's in the top of the mount. What I thought I'd show you is a sample of a self calibration that this unit goes through. And simply by turning on the power, and it has completed its self-calibration and will ask a couple of questions and you're all set to go observing. Well, I wanna thank you for joining me with this video, setting up a system with the iOptron AZ 
Mount Pro, and the Light Rock 1.75 tripod. Have a wonderful day.